Good day to you. Welcome to our Facecast for today. And let me start by asking you a question. Do you believe in what you believe? That is, the things that you've come to use as your rock and your foundation in life, whatever that might be, do you believe in it? Are you convinced of it? Are you sure about it? Are you certain? What am I talking about? Well, maybe you believe in science. Maybe you believe that science is unquestionable and uh, correct and right. And science is the rock, the foundation on which your world is built. Maybe. Are you convinced by it? Do you think you could put your hand on your heart and say science is always right? And could you do that with confidence, knowing that there's been things like atomic bombs, uh, thalidomide, um, all sorts of drugs that have been loosed into the world, not least the one that we're suffering from at the moment, but all the kind of drugs that uh, people use for the wrong reasons, which is causing all kinds, of, all kinds of pain and misery around the world. It's all part of the scientific development, supposedly, of the world we're living in. And don't get me wrong, I don't think science is wrong. I don't think it's um, complete and unquestionable either. Do you believe in science? Well, yes, to a certain extent, perhaps. Uh, do you believe in the goodness of humanity? Great. If you do, I'd love to believe in the goodness of humanity. And I think there is wonderful, great good out there in the world. There is also a good deal of bad out there in the world. And that's the human condition, isn't it? A bit of good mixed in with a bit of bad. And sometimes, depending upon the circumstances, good comes to the fore or bad comes to the fore. And that's what we live with. What else might we believe in? Well, I, for one, being a Christian person, believe in Jesus Christ and the Christian faith. Not surprising that I'm going to say that. But the reading we have today, which is from the letter to the Romans, St Paul's letter to the Romans. So he's writing to the church in Rome. And in verse 16, he says this. I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. I am not ashamed of the gospel. The gospel being the good news about Jesus. And it's something Paul is saying that not only is he not ashamed of it, in his words, in his view, he's convinced of the importance of the good news of Jesus. Why? Because in believing in Jesus Christ, Son of God, you then come to believe in God himself, which is a very difficult concept to believe in. That's why Jesus came to be with us, so that we could have a route away into understanding God and a belief in him. And this belief isn't just something that's nice and comfortable for us to have. It's more than that, he says. It's something that he calls the salvation. Salvation. We are saved. We are saved from something. What are we saved from? Well, that's the subject matter of a whole lot of these face casts, or better still, a whole sermon series in a church. What are we saved from? If amongst all the things that we're saved from, we're saved from ourselves and our false beliefs. We think we're right in believing in science or ourselves or the world in which we live or our good nature we can be pretty soon let down. But the good news of Jesus tells us about those things. And it says no matter how bad this world is, belief in him will lead you to a place of eternal peace and safety. I could do with a bit of that, couldn't you? Eternal peace and safety. At least I could do with the promise of that. I could do with the truth of that. And that's what this passage and all these passages give us. So we need not be ashamed to believe in the word of God or in Jesus or in the good news that he brings. We must be wholeheartedly understanding and accepting of it because it's the salvation for all of us. That's probably enough for today. Have a good day. See you soon.